Hi, I'm Pastor Mary again, and I just wanted to say thank you for agreeing to be one of our small group hosts. Right now, I'd like to show you what you're going to be getting in order to have your, uh, your small group. It's going to be all in an envelope. You're going to receive an envelope for Fearless Faith, our study. And inside, you'll find a few different things, and I want to let you know what they are. First of all, just a little letter from Pastor Jeff and I talking about what we think is most important about small group ministry. Just a couple of tips on how to lead and how to encourage people to share, but not to overshare. There might be a few people who uh, tend to talk on and on and on. So we suggest giving them, giving everybody the instruction to let at least two other people talk before they talk again gives other everybody a chance to participate then you will find a copy of our small group guidelines and agreement I have another video where we talk about all the things that are listed on here but it's good idea to go over this to get an idea of being all on the same page then just for your help and uh, knowing that maybe you haven't gotten uh, you don't know well the people that are in your group we have a little sheet that gives an idea for some icebreakers. These are things that you can do whether or not you know people uh, in your group because there's always a few more things that you can get to know about people. So we've got uh, there the 20 best icebreakers for 2018. Use them if you like. And then as your group continues, you'll find that perhaps it's a good idea to share leadership in different ways. One idea for doing that is using our small group roll cards. These will just, you can just separate these off into 10 different cards. And uh, the examples are a guide, somebody who will make sure the conversation uh, keeps going, and, and then there's a timekeeper. If you're like me, a lot of times uh, you will find that the, that, um, the study has gone on, you haven't gotten to the second part. That may not be important. Maybe you as a group have decided that you're going to keep doing this study for as long as it takes. But if in your guidelines you agree that we want to get through this in six weeks, then you're going to have to figure out a way to, uh, to bring conversations to a close in time to honor the time commitment that you have made. So a timekeeper somebody who's assigned to be an encourager and always lift up the positive somebody that's assigned to be a connector figuring out ways to connect people in your group somebody who's assigned to be a prayer person thinking about the ways and sharing the ways that you can pray for each other in your group and the other ones are all contributors that's just a emphasizing once again that there is nobody that just sits back in the in the weeds and watches. Um, we don't force people to talk, but even if they are silent, people need to be engaged in the conversation and in the questions. Finally, um, is the study itself. Now, there will be uh, different envelopes, some that contain a DVD of the study. This contains the six sermons that Pastor Jeff and I have given on Fearless Faith along with the questions on each section of the sermon. So the DVD can just be popped into a DVD player. However, if you are somebody who has easy access to the internet, you can just go onto our website. You will find the same sermons with the same questions, and that will save a little bit of resources for our world. And then for each person in the group, you will want a Fearless Faith Study Guide. This starts out with an idea of what small group ministries are all about here at First English, and then a description of our study in particular. It goes on to talk about the particular week. Each week will be on a two-page spread, leaving a little space as you're watching the video to make notes, a little synopsis about what was just said, and then three or two or however many questions we come up with. 
Um, then the second part uh, will have the same thing and at the end we hope for each study to have a scripture connection so that if you want to delve deeper into to scripture it will give you ways to do that. So we're hoping that in this envelope you will find everything you need to have a successful small group. Blessings on you as you continue this journey.